Hey guys, welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School and today I will show you how to make this location based slide animation in just PowerPoint. To make this tutorial, I am using Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2016, you can also use 2010 or 13. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here, I will pick this light grey color. Now close it. Go to insert, click on picture and from here I will pick this map. Place it in the lower middle of our slide. Now from our previous slide I will just copy this upper portion by pressing Ctrl C and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Then we have to pick a teardrop shape. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here, rotate it. Drag this yellow dot to down. Now go to format, click on shape fill, change the color. Then from shape outline, select no outline. Now pick a oval shape, holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard. Make it a small circle. Place it in the middle of this teardrop shape. Go to format, click on shape fill, change the color to white. And from shape outline, select no outline. After that, we have to select this two and press Ctrl G to group. Now just I am placing it here, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate. Place it here, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it to here, press Ctrl D to duplicate. In this way, I am just adding few location icons on our map. So you just need to duplicate and place it on its right position. After adding all these location icons, we have to pick a line shape, drag it over here. Then go to format, click on shape outline, change the color. Again go to shape outline, increase the weight to one point. Then press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of this line shape, make it a horizontal one. Place it with the previous line shape. Then holding the Ctrl button, select this two, press Ctrl G to group. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate this group of line shape, place it here. Now I will just decrease the size of this horizontal one from this side. Now again press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it here. Again we need to change the size of this horizontal one. Press Ctrl D to make another copy, place it here, then go to rotate, select flip horizontal. Now we just need to place this group of line shape over this location icon and change the size of these line shapes. After changing the size of this group of line shape, we have to make another copy by pressing Ctrl D. Then place it here, decrease the size for this one, make another copy and place it here. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some header text. Select all the text, change the font to TWCENMT, change the font size to 16 point, make it bold, change the font color, change the align to right, make another copy of this text box. Here add some explanation text, increase the size of this text box, holding the control button select this 2 and press control G to group. Now place it right beside of this line shape. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it here, press Ctrl D again and bring it to here. Now again press Ctrl D to make another copy. But for this right side element we have to make some changes with the alignment. So after making the changes, I am placing it right beside of this group of line shape. Make a duplicate, place it here and do the same for this one. And now this time is for adding the animation. So to animate, go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Now to add our first animation, select this location icon, go to add animation, select float in. Then from effect option, select float down, keep this on click and duration 0.50 seconds. Then select this group of line shapes, go to add animation, select wipe. From effect options, select from right. 
set start after previous keep the duration 0 0.50 second now select this group of text boxes from add animation select zoom and set start after previous now select the second location icon from add animation select float in from effect option select float down set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second select this group of line shape from add animation select wipe from Effect option select from right, set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second for this group of text boxes. From add animation select zoom, set start after previous, keep the duration 0 0.50 second. Select the third location icon, from add animations again select float in, from effect option select float down, set start after previous, keep the duration 0 0.50 second. Select this group of line shape, from add animation select wipe. From effect option select from right, set start after previous. Select this group of text boxes from add animation again select zoom, set start after previous. In the same way we have to select this location icon from add animation select float in. From effect option select float down, set start after previous, keep the duration 0 0.50 second. Then select this group of line shape, from add animation select wipe. But this time from effect option select from left, set start after previous, now select this group of text boxes from add animation select zoom and set start after previous. I think all of you have noticed that I am using the same animation again and again so to save your time I will do the rest of the animation in fast forward mode. Here you just need to remember that for a location icon you have to set the float in animation for a group of line shape you have to set the wipe animation and for the text boxes you have to set the zoom animation and another thing is that you have to say to start after previous and 0 0.50 second for all the animations and here we are done our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly you can download this template for free i've given the download link in the video description if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like this video if you haven't subscribed our channel yet make sure you subscribe share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel. That's all for today, hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.